if you take one Tylenol, you may get rid of your headache. If you take a bottle, you may get rid of your liver. I mean, it's, it's a matter of degree. So propofol is not unique. But it is unique in one very important respect. This is so unique to propofol that uh, Dr. White may tell you that there is no other drug like it. Propofol acts very quickly. We, if we're familiar with the countdown to 1 to 100 to 1 and you get to 99, you're done. It works very quickly, propofol. But, but what's important about propofol is that it also dissipates. Its clinical effects disappear very quickly, much quicker than other drugs. And, and this is an important distinction, it doesn't even matter how much you give in an, in an injection. You will be told this in the charge. An act can only be the cause of death if the death is the direct, natural, and probable consequence of the act, of the act. And you will be further told that a natural and probable consequence is one that a reasonable person, and, and you're, you'll get this in right, but a reasonable person would know is likely to happen if nothing unusual. We believe that Dr. White is going to testify that, that in this case, he's going to tell you these things. He's going to tell you that in his expert opinion, Dr. Murray could not have killed Michael Jackson, could not be responsible for this death. He will tell you that the amounts that Dr. Murray gave were not capable of causing that death. He'll tell you that the precautions that Dr. Murray took for these amounts were sufficient, and he's going to tell you what precautions are used in doctor's offices, gastroenterology clinics, dentist's offices, where nurses give this drug. We believe that the evidence will tell you this, that Michael Jackson wanted to sleep for 10 hours, was frustrated, unable to sleep, couldn't sleep, needed to sleep, needed to succeed. And his doctor would not give him propofol, the drug that he wanted. And Michael Jackson swallowed while, while he was up and about in the room and other rooms in the bathroom, up to eight pills on his own, without telling his doctor, without permission from his doctor. And when Dr. Murray gave him the 25 milligrams and Dr. Murray left the room, Michael Jackson self-administered a dose, an additional dose of propofol. And it killed him. And it killed him like that. And there was no way to save him. We have seen pictures of his children. We have seen pictures of, of him, you know, bright and vivacious on the stage, but compared to how he looked when he died. This is an emotional case. We all have a vested interest in Michael Jackson. If you're my age, you do. But the evidence is just, it's tragic. The whole thing's tragic, but, but the evidence is not going to show that Dr. Murray did it. And at the end, we're going to ask you, to acquit him. Dr. Murray is not a, a perfect man. He's an imperfect man, like all of us. That I grant you. But in this criminal court, we believe he's not guilty. Thank you.